I recently did an overview video of the Chlorine Genie, and I said I would do a follow-up video once I had the unit installed. So let me go over some of the key points of the Chlorine Genie now that I have one installed. And of course the first thing is that you're no longer going to need any kind of chlorine in the pool, nor will you need to add any kind of muriatic acid going forward with the Chlorine Genie installed. So I removed the tablet floater from the pool here. The Chlorine Genie actually seems to be producing a pretty large amount of chlorine. I have this pump running at 2600 RPMs and I can see that the tubes are really filling with chlorine. And I can also see that the water in the brine tank had a tint to it, so it's definitely working. Let me back up a minute here and I mentioned in the first video how the Chlorine Genie works. There's a salt cell that sits inside the unit in the brine tank. So the first thing that we did was add two 40 pound bags of extra coarse salt and then we filled the tank with water up to a certain point and here's the area that you want to fill it to and then of course you would plug the unit in and the power comes from the back of the unit and this powers the salt cell inside there and immediately after turning on the unit and adjusting the flow of the high pressure the chlorine production started immediately in the return jets you can see the bubbles here and this is much like the bubbles in a salt cell if you have like a true clear salt cell you can see the bubbles on top and this indicates that the chlorine is being produced and in the pool you're going to see the bubbles coming out of the return line it's perfectly normal nothing to be alarmed about and this will happen as long as the chlorine genie is active and producing the chlorine in the pool i put a test strip in at the return line and the chlorine level was extremely high so it's definitely producing chlorine Plus again, when I open up the lid of the brine tank, I can smell the odor of the chemical reaction of that actual production of the chlorine in there. So this unit really works. Now let's talk a little bit about the fine adjustment here. This particular install doesn't have a heater. The heater will kind of act as a pressure regulator in most installs. So for this one here, we had to put a ball valve in to regulate some of the flow to the high pressure line. You can see this 3 4 pipe here between the high pressure and low pressure. And this is how the chlorine is introduced into the pool. There's a venturi, much like what you would find in a Polaris cleaner with the jets that kind of take the high pressure and reduce it down. And this is how the chlorine is injected into the pool. As far as the chlorine genie itself, so on top is this ball valve that turns on and it opens up to let the water flow in when the chlorine genie unit is active. So this is where the water comes in from your water supply. Typically a garden hose in the backyard is where the water comes in to the unit. Then from there it flows into the copper cooling tubes on the back of the unit. Then the water will flow into the anti-scale filter here. And the anti-scale filter will dissolve hardness in minerals. And then the water will flow into the reverse osmosis cartridge which will remove some more particles. Here the water is split into two streams. One stream is the soft water that drips back into the brine tank. This soft water prevents the scale from forming on the cell meaning that this salt cell should stay a lot cleaner than a salt water generator. The other stream is the untreated hard water, and it flows through the flow restrictor and then into the mixing chamber. This water will absorb the chlorine gas, and the chlorinated water is dispensed back into the pool. There's one more electronic ball valve here on the bottom, and this is where the chlorinated water is returned back into the pool. It looks complicated, but the actual water flow is actually pretty simple if you actually watch the device as it's working. Another important aspect of the chlorine production is that the timer on top of the chlorine genie has to match the timer of the pool. So this one here is set to run from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. and the pool itself is set to start at 8.30 and run to 4 p.m. So it's really important that the timers match so that the chlorine genie comes on when the pool comes on and this will ensure that it will be producing chlorine. Also in the front of the chlorine genie is this amperage meter and it should be reading 15 amps when it's producing. And as the salt in the brine tank is being used up, you have to recharge that probably about once a month, depending on the usage of course, and you would use a 40 pound bag of the extra coarse salt to recharge it. You have this salt stick in front here, and when it drops down to a certain level, this indicates that you need to add more salt to the unit. Another nice benefit of the Chlorine Genie is that it will regulate the pH in the pool for you with this pH drain here. So you will no longer need to add muriatic acid to lower the pH down in the pool nor soda ash to raise it up. One of the side effects of a saltwater generator is that it produces sodium hydroxide. With the chlorine genie, with the pH drain, you can actually release some of the sodium hydroxide and this will lower the pH down. You want to set up the pH drain so that it drains into a safe area, either the dirt, gravel, or a drain. 
You don't want this high alkaline water being drained out into the grass, a planter, or into the cement. So after installing the Chlorine Genie, I'm really impressed by this unit. I really like the fact that all the chlorine is produced inside the unit. There's no need to add the salt to the pool. But I'm really impressed by the Chlorine Genie, and I think it's a great way to have something that's producing chlorine for your pool without converting your pool to a salt water pool and not having to go to the pool store and buy chemicals. Pool Service Pro, open a Leslie's Wholesale account today and receive wholesale pricing on products you use every day. Leslie's Pool Supply offers convenient locations that are open 7 days a week. Another great benefit of opening a Leslie's Wholesale account is Leslie's Referral Program. Get referred to a customer looking for weekly pool service. Save time and money and grow your pool service route and become a Leslie's Pro.